Now, you can play games like Free Fire, PUBG, and even car parking multiplayer on your 1GB RAM PC with just one click. And for this, you won't need an Android emulator, Android OS, or any screen mirroring software. As in today's video, I'll show you how to run multiple Android games on your old laptop without using any extra software. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. Let's roll. First, let me show you the specs of my PC so that any doubts you have about system requirements can be cleared. As you can see, my PC only has 2 GB of RAM and a small Intel i5 processor. Regarding the graphics card, it currently has an Intel HD graphics card, which is quite useless. Now that you know the specs, let's move on to the installation process. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm not using any Android OS or emulator, but you'll still need a browser whether it's Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. You can use whichever one works best on your system. Now open my website, which you'll find linked in the About section of my channel, or you can type it manually. Many people often ask why I don't provide direct download links in the video description or comments. Let me explain. Providing such links in the description or comments is illegal. And because of this, my channel has been terminated twice. That's why all my download links are available only on my website. Now let's get back to the topic. As soon as you visit my website, you'll find an article at the top. Just open it. Now, it's possible that after one or two clicks, you might get redirected to another tab. If that happens, simply close the new tab. Then, scroll down and you'll see a link. Just copy that link and paste it into a new tab and you'll directly land on the Free Fire page. If you try to open the link directly from the web page, it won't work, which is why you need to copy and paste it. Now, click on the Guest Account option, and you'll be directly taken to the lobby. One more important thing, make sure not to use any ad blockers on the website, or else it won't work properly. Additionally, you'll have full support for key mapping for any game you play. Just make sure your graphics are set to smooth, or you might experience some lag. From here, you can also turn the sound on or off and even play the game in full screen mode. Another thing you need to do is set the main graphic settings of Free Fire to low. Now that we've completed everything, let's start the match. As you can see, the game is running perfectly and I'm not experiencing any lag at all. However, if I set the graphics to high, the game will start to lag because my internet connection isn't very stable. The more stable your internet, the better the game will perform. Additionally, I also tried PUBG Mobile on this OS, and it worked quite well too. Overall, this website is really good, and you should definitely give it a try if any of your Android emulators aren't working. Also, please let me know in the comments whether you like this website or not. And if you don't have a stable internet connection but still want to play Free Fire, then the video on the left is perfect for you. Just click on that video, and I'll meet you there.